Chapter 3 Be a Perfect Programmer with Scratch Central Idea What is the relation between programming and Scratch? Understanding Scratch window in detail Categories of Blocks Programming Construct Statement Conditionals Loop Variable Boolean Expression Learning the concept of variables, loop, and level with the help of ping pong game. What is the relation between programming and scratch? Programming is the art of writing instructions to tell a computer what to do. A set of instructions is called a program. The instructions are written in a programming language. Scratch is a programming language that is perfect for making games, animations, interactive stories, and other visually rich programs. Scratch is easier to use than most other programming languages for a number of reasons. There is no need to remember or type the commands. They are all on the screen. So, just drag and drop helps to write the program. Commands fit together like jigsaw pieces. So, there are strong visual hints about how to combine them. Error messages are generally not seen. As scratch commands lock together, programs always make some sense. It is possible to still write programs with logical errors if they don't do what was expected. Scratch guides to write things that work rather than keeping the programmer confused with the codes that don't work. The commands are color-coded and categorized, so it is very easy to find a command when required. The commands in Scratch simplify common activities in games such as testing whether a missile has hit an alien, collision detection or rotating a character on screen. Understanding some interesting things about the scratch window. The screen is divided into different panes. Images that control in scratch are called sprites. Sprites can be moved, drawn on the screen, respond to click, change their appearance and interact with each other. For example, a space game might have an alien sprite, a spaceship sprite and a missile sprite for example. Many projects have more than one sprite and any sprite can be chosen by clicking them in a sprite list in the bottom right. Scratch Cat is the default sprite available in any new Scratch project. When the program is tested, sprites can be seen responding to the codes on the stage. To make the sprites do something, instructions are given to them that tell them precisely what to do and when. Those instructions come in the form of blocks that can be joined. The blocks are sorted into following categories. Motion used for moving sprites around the stage. Look used for animating sprites, giving them speech bubbles and changing their size and appearance. Sound used for playing recordings or musical notes. Pen used to draw sprite moves around the stage. Great for making random art and for special effects in games. Data used to remember information such as course, timer values or player names. Events used to make the sprite perform according to the event done. For example, when green flag is clicked. Control used to describe what happens when and for making bits of your program repeat. Sensing used to test 
whether your sprite is touching another sprite or another color or to get information about other sprites. You can also use the sensor value blocks in your own electronic project on the Raspberry Pi. Operators used for math, random numbers and doing things to text. There are also blocks here for combining the blocks used in decision making. Programming constructs, statements, boolean expressions, conditional statements, loop, variables. Let's make Pong game in Scratch. Step 1. Right click on the default sprite and select delete to delete it. Creating the game object. Step 2. Click on paint new sprite. Step 3. Select ellipse and draw an ellipse of any color. Step 4. Similarly, draw two rectangles and two lines for the player and the enemy. Renaming the sprite. Step 5. Rename each sprite by clicking on I and typing the name in the text box. Rename all the five sprites as shown in the figure. Step 6. Select the ball, sprite and drag the block in the script area as shown in the figure. Hitting the bat. Step 7. Add the block as shown in the figure to make the ball bounce off if it touches the player or the enemy paddle. Step 8. To move the player with the mouse, add the following block in the script of the player sprite. Step 9. To move the enemy automatically as per the position of the ball, add the following block in the script of the enemy sprite. Step 10. Click on the data and then select make a variable block. Step 11. Enter the name of the variable in the text box and click OK button. The variables are displayed on the state with their values. Step 12. Add the following block in the ball script to change the values of the variables. Step 13. Finally, add the following if block in the ball script to check the player and the enemy score. If anyone has reached 5, the game would stop. Step 14. Select Choose Backdrop from Library to select any backdrop. Step 15. Click OK. Step 16. Click on File, Save As. In the Save As dialog box, enter the name for the project and click Save button. Step 17. Select Choose Backdrop from Library to select any backdrop. Step 18. Click OK. Step 19. Edit the backdrop and add text game over. Step 20A. Add the following block in the scripts of the ball sprite. Step 20B. Add the following block in the script of the ball sprite. 